Hi traders, this is uh, 20 to 1 UK time on Tuesday 27th of May. So the UK and US is just getting back to its desks after a three day weekend. And I'm just looking at these charts and you can see on this Dow daily, uh, yeah, we're attacking this area here you can see I am short here just got a small sort of market lot at the moment but if this starts to work out and the we see some selling into the open I'm just going to start to build my position up here to see if we can roll over see, I'm looking at this just sort of topping out potentially just just dropping if we start breaking down below these levels here then you can see I've got a uh, you know, quite a pinnacle, pivotal area there at 16,200 and then I would start to see if we can pop back up and, and roll over mainly because of the cyclical period we're in and also just an increase in political uncertainty and the European elections and the, uh, were uh, in, in my interpretation quite negative a move towards yeah, a right wing in some areas, um, anti austerity in Greece, and so on. I, I think the markets will find that quite unsettling. And um, we've got non durable goods today, so I'm short in front of the of the data area. So I will make a judgment as to whether I'm going to hold. What I might do is just get stopped to break even, or or stop to break even minus five, or something in, into the open into the data and see where we are but I'm just looking to get short this market and that's leading my attitude towards um, these stocks as well here I've got Netflix coming into a sell zone Netflix is very high I, I put the stochastics on there just to sort of as an increase as indicator that's sensitive to, to these highs uh, so they're just coming back to stocks that experienced some selling in the March period and have since bounced. I always said, I said earlier I would look to these to short as and when I thought the markets were potentially going to um, get reversed back to their short area again. I think we're seeing a lot of, there's a lot of red on these. Any little rally has been sold into on LinkedIn. We've got a little rally and high stochastics, etc., on this one. So I think we could potentially get back to the um, 100 mark on that. So again, any rally into 1600 or 60 there, I think it could be a seller. The one I'm interested in at the moment is this one. Uh, here, I, I really like Nike on the short side. I think. Uh, they're starting to. I think some institutions are starting to dump this or have done already. A little breakdown area there, another little breakdown area here, and we're coming into yeah, this 765 area was quite key on many occasions. Um, we've just tested it and bounced off it so. What if you're a day trader, watch it into the open. If you're a swing trader, let's see if we get any close below that level there and see if we can uh, short Nike. The other ones I'm interested in are you see Amazon. Um, on the long side, I do think some of these stocks uh, got Amazon here. Uh, seasonally, Amazon tends to get bought this time of year, but you know, we've got a lot of congestion up there, so I've just gone off that when I've revisited that. Um, some of the steel ones, you know, they had good runs into back in the last year, good runs into March and April. Uh, this is AKS. I think that's worth a long. I want to pull back to 640. With a tight stop on the 623, but I mean, if these markets do start to sell, then this this could just revert back to this downtrend as well. So I'm starting off with Nike and looking at Netflix on the short side, and let's look at Tesla. Tesla is a very very similar stock. 
Um, looks vulnerable up there at 220, so I will look to see if that can um, short. This is coming into a previous sell area. This is Rider R. It has been seeing a lot of buying, but I think this smacks of institutional selling. I think we're getting a bit of a head and shoulders here. So if that starts to break down there, I would look to get short that one on Rider. Okay, so it's the early part of the week. I don't want to get heavily positioned on one side or the other until we at least get this durable goods out of the way and get some more information. But this is my thinking at the moment that yeah, it's that time of the year when we at the very least see some profit taking and possibly a reversion back to some selling that we saw um, in May. Okay, because I mean the recent move the upside was on the back of this I, I think you know the yen sold off as the uh, as the Japanese government as Ab Abenomics decided that uh, they were going to be still very committed to um, inflation and committed to achieving 2% inflation and so that, that cheered the markets but all we've done is come into sell zones so uh, you can see the stochastics is very very high on this Nikkei so I'm just getting ready for a potential selling situation and if we look at my Dow short uh, I'm already I'm beginning to get a little bit of a buffer up there as we, as we get ahead towards the data okay so that's what I'm looking at and trailers around table is 7 p.m. UK time 2 p.m. Eastern time today we will look in more detail about the sort of patterns that we're getting and the sort of potential selling that we might be seeing in some of these key markets assuming we get a continuation and um, rotation to the downside into these markets today we will also talk about scalping if you're a day trader we will talk about scalping okay I hope that helps and enjoy the rest of your day